No one cared who I was till I put on the mask. If I pull that off, will you die? It would be extremely painful. Yeah, so this is what I've heard, that the masks themselves, because you're not as likely to breathe it in, what happens is you touch things, and then you touch your face later on, and that's how you get infected. In which case, the mask doesn't really help you at all. That the only okay, way that, well, like, N95 I mean, masks would help is if you're in, like, walking around in an area where people are coughing at you. So, okay, like, a healthcare well, we, that study came out saying that uh, corona is airborne, right? Okay, and wait, but that was just I, one thing, wasn't it? I don't know what you're saying. The logic you're saying that coronavirus don't protect you is that you're going to touch your face. Well, then, yeah, sure. I mean, if you're going to stick your hands in your mouth or touch yourself, then, yeah, it's not going to work so well. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about if N95 masks help protect you from catching coronavirus. Yeah, and my understanding is they don't really. Well, you're wrong. And is we want to do this for the small businesses and the workers and we can do a phase. Hi, Destiny. I'm a nurse responding to the COVID-19 pandemic. I agree with you. And if you want to talk about hospital specific issues i can do my best to explain come debate dan who i don't know some guy donated me and said he was a nurse <laughs> are you ready dan for the ultimate debate let's do it go do battle with dan um okay i i don't really debate that much no so this is wanna... a debate you're in the thunderdome okay, okay? america's <laughs> future like coronavirus survival depends on the outcome of this debate millions okay. of people watching my stream are ready right now to buy these masks and go out in public and touch their face on the advice of dan so <laughs> that is not what i said stop lying god still lying to this day we've gone over go ahead moin maid what do you got um so i think that it's really important to wear paper masks in um you know in in public and yeah, fuck Steve. i find it i find it very <laughs> annoying that people are wearing gloves and masks and then touching their eyes so i totally agree with destiny in that point because i go to the grocery store and i see people like touching everything and then touching their eyes while they have the gloves on and it's just you know it, it shows a lot of you know ignorance to what they're actually doing um but the N95s, we use them at work um, because we mm -hmm. so we actually don't uh, do breathing treatments anymore that are aerosol because of the um, fear that it is airborne. So we've been um, we've been only doing uh, more you know, other types of breathing treatments. But anyway, um, I've been using um, something called a capper. I don't know if you guys have heard of that. No, a none capper? of us know anything about it. No. So a capper, some, some places they call them pappers, but they are these huge helmets that are basically, um, they look like space helmets. Oh, and the PPE shields or the full suits? It's No, it's actually a helmet that's battery, um, well, it's uh, operated by this battery that you have to charge and you put it on your head and it has an air seal and it, it takes air from the environment that you're in and sucks it in and um, kind of just uh, filters it. It like It's like a ventilation type of thing and it's like you have like this air conditioning inside of the mask. So um, we use those for tuberculosis patients along with N95s we also use for uh, tuberculosis patients. So um, I think, you know, for healthcare workers, we're treating it as an airborne illness. But for the general public, if you're just going to the grocery store, wearing a mask should be fine because, um, you know, as a nurse, I don't know how at other hospitals they're dealing with it. But, you know, I have to wear all of this PPE because I'm, you know, housekeeping isn't allowed in the room. Um, nutrition's not allowed in the room. Uh, CNAs are not allowed in the room. So I'm handling all of the bodily fluids. I'm t uh, throwing away all of the garbage. Um, I'm the only one going in there. The doctors don't even go in the room. Um, so I don't know. Hopefully, I don't know if that gives you a better idea. No, that, that was, the average, that was so you would, you would agree that the average like viral load like hanging in the air in like a hospital room is going to be like several orders of magnitude higher than what's going to be like in a grocery store, right? That if oh, I, definitely. Yeah, because if you're not feeling well, why would you be at the grocery store, first of all? <laughs> well, I mean, that doesn't really yeah. matter specifically because you can have it and not have any symptoms, but very that's okay. True. Yeah, very true. But um, 
but yeah, and, and the symptoms for, for a lot of the patients I've been seeing, um, the symptoms do actually, you know, creep up on you and kill you pretty quickly. So, I mean, that's at least for a lot of the patients I've seen at my hospital, or at least they end up on a ventilator pretty quick. Yeah. So, um, well, I'm glad. I'm glad you came in. This was me super too. Helpful. I'm really glad. Yeah, That's really good. No, so, you don't get hospital makers, shit, Stephen, you what? don't get this shit. agreed with everything I said. Oh, oh fucking, you're God. so this wrong, Dan. You're so wrong. Bullshit. Dan is out there no, with his mask, right. with his you're fucking beard, rubbing his fucking eyes with his gloves to completely and totally about? defeating no. the purpose of it. One hundred percent. It is. It is true, though, that yeah, if you have a beard, it will not create a good seal. So all of the men with beards at my work have to wear cappers because the N95s will not work. Something I am a little bit annoyed about. Um, not a lot of people know, but you need to actually be fitted for an N95. So if you buy an N95 online, that might not be doing very much for you because especially um, if you buy the shitty ones, absolutely. Well, Can't it doesn't matter, right you know yeah. that. Whether you buy a shitty one or not, um, having having it sized for you, what they'll do is, um, of course, my hospital, you know, hosp the healthcare system, I'm not even going to talk about that right now, but, you know, our budget is low. So, of course, we're not getting fitted um, for these masks, but what they would usually do is they would have you wear a particular size N95 and they'd spray this aerosol in the air that you can smell um, if it's not filtering those particles. For the general public to just buy an N95 online, you know, they aren't able to get that test done and know if it's actually effective. Um, it, it may not, it may just be the same as wearing a regular mask. And then if it's that case, then you're just uh, removing resources from uh, nurses and doctors that have to go in the room and intubate these people and possibly have them cough up all over your face so um can um, i ask you a question about that like theoretically could someone self-administer some sort of odor test at home or would that just not be accurate? um so i i'm not honestly i'm not really sure i don't know what exactly the substance is that they use mm -hmm. um like i said i <laughs> my hospital is uh the budget's low, so um, I haven't been fitted. So, you know, that goes against my argument. But, you know, I'm just out here wearing my N95, hoping that it fits. But, um, yeah. um, you know, but... Wait, but if you don't mind also, saying what... Do you mind saying, like, either the state or city that you're in? You, it, you don't have to be too specific, as specific as you're comfortable with. I'm in Florida. I'm in Florida. Gotcha. So, okay. yeah. And, and it's pretty... Oh. <laughs> what are you in Florida? Me and Mr. Moon are in Miami Beach. Oh, nice, nice. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, and then also in the hospital, if we do wear an N95, we have to wear goggles. So, if you were really paranoid and you were like, "Oh, I'm going to dress like a hospital worker," you'd need to wear goggles. Yeah, like some That's sort of like a like a gas mask with an NBC filtration cartridge that still sealed. I agree. I think that you know, <laughs> doing something I mean, like that. Would are you going to go work in a hospital now, Dan? Is that your next stop? Uh, no, no, I'm not. Hey, sorry, I what know. are you saying? Hold on. I could, stop cutting, I stop cutting off our guests. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Thanks. Um, no, I was going to say, literally, I got, um, you know, um, high school science class, they give you those goggles to wear. I literally, they they gave us those. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I, I These are high school science goggles. And I had to write my name on them and disinfect them every day because those are my goggles, like, forever so <laughs> american healthcare system i know i know and then they give you one n95 in a little paper bag and then you have to savor it with your life but um anyway yeah so. wait so you have to reuse your n95 mask yeah so they they have so at our hospital they have something called a trudy and this thing is this robot that will go in the room and it'll basically use uv light to oh kill it, it all uses uvc right to like yeah sterilize and it. Okay. so so they do that with your n95 and after three times of disinfecting it using the trudy then the, then you can dispose of it and you get a new one so you said that people should be uh wearing cloth masks correct i i think that it would be helpful if you need to go outside um just because here, this is the thing, like, you know, I don't think we never put N95s on patients to transport them. 
and and this is where it gets a little bit confusing when we have to transport a patient from one room to another room like maybe even on a different floor even if they're positive all we put on them is a paper surgical mask and that's just containing their germs within the mask but um i think that it would be helpful to just wear a mask just as a precaution if you have one whether that be a cloth one or a paper one whatever you have just just to keep yourself safe i mean you can never be too uh, you can never be too careful would you agree though that like wearing the masks is probably better if you're actually sick like to prevent the spread of infection rather than that it'll actually prevent you from becoming okay cool just wondering on that yeah yeah because like i mean i have you know a weeaboo icon but you know in japan they you know they wear masks to prevent other uh workers from getting sick because they need to work such long hours so um you know it definitely contains it because i mean if they're allowing us to transport patients with the virus with a paper mask then um you know then then if somebody else were to be sick then that would definitely protect a lot of people especially if it does end up being airborne um if that just means if you just talk you know um those particles will just stay in the air so at least if you're wearing a mask then that'll do a lot of a lot of help sure okay awesome cool yeah. that's great right. that's great i'm glad <laughs> to hear that you should you wear any, masks so i'm glad to hear person. that they're primarily to, for people that are sick to make sure that others don't but get people infected. that that's go really out should still wear masks. you're um, such a <laughs> fucking <laughs> weasel steven hey a listen weasel. dan I can't, I can't argue with the science. I'm sorry, Dan. Um, she said that anyway, it was helpful. So oh, my said, God. Go ahead. Wrap it up. Yeah. Final, final closing statements. Do you have any Jesus closing Christ. statements for us? Oh, my um, God. Just, I'm being burnied. Don't, don't touch your eyes. True. Um, <laughs> wear masks. Wear masks, especially if you wear don't have a beard, mask. right? Uh, well, the N95 if you don't have a beard. Mm-hmm. The paper masks are fine if you have a beard because, yeah. Um, and just stay safe and wash your hands. Um. My boyfriend wants me to say micro Dan. No Japan. Well, God, what the fuck? <laughs> Stop. True. That is true. Dan is no <laughs> Japan. Okay, well, thank you very much for your input. We appreciate it. Um, we all appreciate you, even if Mr. Mooten thinks that you guys are the scum of the earth, I guess. I don't know why Mr. Mooten went off on healthcare workers saying you guys aren't shit. But we, other than Mr. Mooten, everyone else here appreciates you guys. Um, thanks a lot. Thank good you luck. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah, have a good day. Have a good one. By fake here. Absolutely Kappa. annihilated, Dan. How do you feel You're, after that, Dan? You see I don't quickly, understand. You see how, how do you feel, Dan? How, how do you feel? Wait, 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 Dan. Mr. Milton. You know Dan. what's interesting is he tries to switch the narrative to a yep. win, and he hopes his dumb audience is going to figure it out in the end. Dan, I don't no, have to lost. switch anything, Dan, Dan. Did you see how quickly he ushered it out after Shira did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, I didn't usher it up. Nope, that was it. I was just clarifying the reason why you wear the reason why you wear masks if you're sick. Yeah, that's good. She confirmed with everything that the CDC said, everything the WHO said. 100% agreed. Yeah. Yeah, sounds you great. You mansplained her, and you backed her into a corner, and she was too <laughs> scared to say what she act. She was too afraid to say what she actually thought because she was wow. in front of. So you thought she was a weak willed woman? Is that what you're saying, Dan? It's no, very as soon intimidating. As she, she had a boyfriend. He was. You had the implications. Oh yeah. yeah, as soon as she mentioned That's boyfriend, true. Steve wanted to end the conversation. Wow. Okay, listen, that guy had millions of masks. I have 20. Hey, okay? guys, like, wait, hold on. Being I'm serious, I'm there. only going to give you one warning, okay? We do not dox people in this chat. Posting videos of Dan, okay? This is not okay, guys, all right? Wait, what are you... Wait, why are you posting Dan? Stop, no! That's not me! Stop! Thank you for teaching those yeah, lefties you that yet, you were man. right all along. Oh, my God, why is the guy even Jewish? Come on, what the fuck? November. Four more year, keep America great. Dan, what was your original claim that they're upset about? Steve was wrong. Dan's original Steve, claim was that if go. you wear a mask, you could literally fuck somebody with COVID nineteen and you that wouldn't get what sick. I said. My original claim was that although a mask may provide some incredibly small level of protection, oh my God, they're generally the recommended for people that ever. are already sick oh and they're probably not going to help an average person. Yeah, that it was, it was my original claim like that. was yes. incredibly nuanced and incredibly precise. Oh, wrong, and Dan was wrong. making the claim here that you could literally fucking cannibalize a person with COVID-19 and you wouldn't get sick as long as you had a mask on. It was insanely fucking stupid. One's in chat if that is completely true.
Dan, Thank did you. you say something that hyperbolic? Yes. No, I did not. Steven this said masks actually do nothing, and the big mask industry is a fucking bullshit lie. Type 2 if that's true. So the CDC yeah. says that wearing a mask, if you have it, helps prevent the spread. Listen, of the true! The CDC, the CDC is part of the conspiracy. They want to hoard it all for themselves for their so-called heroes, okay? They don't care about the rest of us. So-called heroes based and hero-pilled. <laughs> Hey. What? Why are you so angry? I hate arguing about driving my chat. It makes me triggered as fuck. I thought maybe it's because you're angry because you're fucking wrong. It's about who gets there first. How do you not know you're the worst driver I've met in my goddamn life? You got me, Dan. It's not about who gets there first, though. It's about who gets there first and has the balls to push the gas. Oh, okay. That's yeah. who it is. Okay. Ooh, Master Chinese Port, Tanzania, scrapping it. Do you agree that this is like a pretty shit intersection, Dan? Do you feel yeah. like a lot of like drivers would get confused here? Uh, hold on, I'm looking. The at only this. way I can imagine something like this working is that it's a low traffic area. That's the only thing I can think of. Like, I feel like in an intersection like this, a, a second driver here, like let's say somebody is driving. So if you're watching my stream, follow my mouse. So a car is here, a car is here, and a car is here, and then a car is here. Okay, this guy here over here, he turns out and he goes. This guy goes straight. This guy goes straight. This guy has to wait to turn left until he's clear of the intersection. He starts to go left after that car. I feel like a second car here is always going to sneak in. I don't have much experience at these intersections. I don't see them often. It just seems like a shit intersection. With 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 all direction stops, mm -hmm. it's literally the order that you get there. That's it. I mean, that's how Wait, no, that's not it. true. It is true. No, the it's only not. Time it's different is if two cars arrive at the same time, then it's the one on the left. Dan, yes, it is. No, it's not. That be okay. You're very confident. Hundred dollars. Let's take a bet. I don't know You're what good. the fucking rule Okay, here, let me give you an example. Okay. This is how this is navigated, okay? Um We're spreading fake news right now. I'm asking No, fuck out of here. Where... Let's say that you have um <clears throat> Or wait, wait, wait. When you say who gets there first, do you mean like who pulls up to the actual stop sign first or? That's how the order is determined. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I, okay. Because I can kind of agree with that. Because like, let's say that you're sitting at an intersection here where like, um, okay, never mind, never mind. I thought, I thought you were saying something else. I probably, I'm pretty sure I agree with you. Um, well, like if this person goes straight and then, wait, wait, hold on. Let me think this. This guy goes straight, this guy goes straight, and then this guy goes after, right? But like if a car were to pull up, like right as these two people, so like let's say that these guys start driving and then a car pulls up here, okay? Then as soon as these guys have cleared the intersection, both of these guys are going almost immediately, even though this guy literally just pulled up, right? No. But Wait, n you don't think so? Go, if there's someone at the stop sign, you wait until you are the last person at the stop sign. That's how it works. It only is different, it's only differing than that if one of the possible, um, egresses doesn't have a stop sign because they wait 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 wait, wait 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 hold on wait destiny probably thought damn it whoever gets to the queue of cars goes first yeah yeah, yeah. I, I was thinking of something like that. that's really dumb i don't think damn means that no 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 wait no. so let's say time. let's say that you're sitting here okay all these cars in here we've got two cars here two cars here two cars here okay now let's yep. say that just they just begin to accelerate okay these two cars just start to get there and as this happens a guy over here pulls up to the stop sign okay so these guys are about halfway through the street and then eventually they clear it okay eventually they clear the road as soon as they clear it, this guy is driving forward the same way this guy is. Do you agree with that or do you not agree with that? It's kind of hard because I'm a little bit delayed on the string. Um, but using, I can only use the example that we saw in the, um, in the video that I did there. That person should not have taken a left there. That person should have waited to take a left uh, at the stop sign until they were the last car that has currently been at the stop sign. Do you understand what I'm saying? Wait, hold on. Let me find the... Okay, hold on. I'm watching the clip again. This is ridiculous. What is this guy doing, dude? Wait, hold on. Oh, sorry. It's okay. easier. Yeah, hold on. It's easier. Forget that it's a left-hand turn because you have to forget that it's a left-hand turn because that doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Imagine it's a four-way stop sign, okay? And if it's a four-way stop sign, does it matter that this guy's going forward? It, it doesn't. You just arrived. You have to wait for the dude that's already waiting at the other end because that guy can either be taking a left turn or a right turn or going straight. You yeah, so for this one, I definitely agree. I don't know if it's because of anybody got their... First, though, 
I think it's just yeah. because this person's turning up, left. That's why they have look, to give up right away. Car. Sorry, uh, I'm watching the late, but that uh -huh. great car is there. Can, He's waiting at the stop sign. You have the guy in front of you waiting at the stop sign. Yeah, but you like have the guy let, in the red waiting there as well. But like, even if all, if all three of them pulled up to the stop signs at the same time, the silver car still has the right of way because she's turning well, left, it's right? It's complicated with three fucking cars. The way it works, if two people arrive at the same time, mm -hmm. is the person on the left. Uh, and that's complicated to explain. I can probably, say, but the person on the left has the right of way. Wait, no, 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 no. The person going straight has the right of way. If two people arrive at, well, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let me every, let me be clear. Well, every, you don't know who's going straight. That's well, but but, but but if two people pull up and they're opposite each other, you can't use a right hand rule there because both of them are to the right of each other. Yeah, right. but that's not the case here. Yeah, no, no. Anyway. But I'm saying like if two people pull up to a stop sign and they're opposite one another, the person going straight has the right of way over the person going left. Right. Hold on. I have. To, you're saying if you pull up to a stop sign and on. If you two, pull up to a stop sign road. and the person in front of you pulls up to the stop sign, if both of you pull up at the same time, correct? So are you talking about we're facing each other? Yes. So you're on the other side coming at me and I'm coming at you. Correct. Whoever is cool. going... Yeah, yeah. I'm glad that you asked who has the right of what. It was who got there first. Are you fucking kidding me? What about if they're going right? You don't know what direction they're going. That's well, insane. Well, okay, fuck. I forgot you live in Florida because you guys don't no, use turn signals know. there. But in the rest of the fucking country, we use turn signals. I'm assuming that they got to the stop signs at roughly the same time, of course. Not that one person got there and it started going and another person is like driving up like the fucking Fast and Furious and he's gunning it through the fucking stop sign. Wait, 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 wait. If you, two... You don't there's a reason that like you get to the stoplight and you stop moving as soon as possible because that's asserting your dominance that you're going, nobody like, you fucking drives like that nobody oh my nobody. god are you wait where do you live first of all you live in florida and i know okay, you're fucking I lying live, no I motherfucker there and i live in la and i know that's not true where in this country do people come to full stops and stop signs that's what you fucking do to determine position. Are you out of your mind? How have you been living your entire life? If you, Honestly, if two people come up to a stop sign and one guy comes to a full stop, that guy is never if, going if through first because the guy other guy, can... he's always going to fucking roll it on you. He is always going to fucking roll it on you. They were wrong. You oh were my so God. Wrong. I'm oh God. dude. We're gonna do driving streams later. We're gonna record this shit. You think that two people coming to a stop that. sign? You think the guy that fucking uh, you think? Uh, wait, wait. Do you think? <laughs> draw it out on stream. I can't wait. Okay, hold on. I'm wait, what so I'm you're saying. racing to the stop sign. You're racing yeah, it as quick as possible yeah, so that you can slam your brakes and come to a full stop. stop? Yes. Oh that's no you way. Your fucking dominance. You don't do that. Oh my God. You are like this is crazy to me. Yes. You go to that stop sign as fast as fucking possible. Let's wait. Let's That's ignore. We're gonna. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna ignore this fucking crazy shit. Like, we're gonna. We're gonna bench this for another time. Okay. Now let's say. Assume. Okay. Now let's. We're gonna bench that dumb shit. Okay. You come up to a stop sign, and I'm not gonna say you come up to it. Let's say you both fully break at the same time at a stop sign, and you are opposite. At exactly the same time. Yeah, and you're opposite one another. Correct. Okay. Then it's who's to the left. No, 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 Dan. If you're opposite from one another, oh, you're both you're to the opposite? left of each other. Yes. Yeah, then it. Then it's just a fucking uh, battle of the wits at that point. No. Whoever is going straight has the right of way. If the other you person don't know is who's going straight, you have turn signals. What do you mean? I mean the fucking people don't always use that shit. You can't rely on that. Okay. If you pull up and you're opposite the other car, okay, you are like trying to find the one. No, I'm not. Case. This is There's very common. People turn left at stop signs, Dan. What the fuck? Yes, I am aware of that. Okay, fine. Oh, in this one circumstance, then if they're both facing, coming at each other from the other side, and one person's going left, the other person's going straight. I, let me put this. Let me let me take it back one. The step. person okay. going straight okay. has the right of way. If they arrive at exact the same fucking time, then yeah, I guess the person going straight. But how often is that case? What about if you arrive two seconds earlier? What about if you arrive two seconds earlier? And you're going straight. The other person's taking a left. Mm. If you arrived one second earlier, the straight person probably do it. Two um, seconds is pushing um, it. No, no seconds. Because <laughs> the one second earlier, he's going to rolling stop that shit and he's going to fucking go through, dude. Yeah, that's why you're supposed to stop at a stop sign. I can't Listen, you. Look, if okay, I come up to a stop sign, if I come up to a stop sign and I'm turning left and the other guy is getting there at almost the same time, I'm never taking that left turn. I'm waiting for that guy to go because 95% of the time, that dude's going to roll the stop and he's going to go when he sees my left blinker on. That's almost always going to fucking happen. I can't believe that, that people like you are literally able to drive on the fucking Yeah, street. because I don't want to get fucking left. crashed into by everyone else that fucking rolling stop. It's called defensive driving, Dan. And if I pull up to a stop sign... fucking turn, okay? Instead of like, oh, I'm going first, out of the way, retard! <laughs> no, fuck no, dude. You wait your goddamn turn. 
that's how it works in a civilized society. But you drive a G-Wagon, and I drive a little Focus. I don't want to fucking die, or my yeah, wife to die in my passenger seat, because I'm like, oh, well, fuck that guy. I got here half a second earlier. Even though I'm turning left, I'm going to fucking go, because I slammed the brakes first. Bullshit. That guy's going to fucking crash into me. He's going to roll the stop, and he's going to fucking kill me. I, I can't believe that you drive like this. This is so dangerous. And it, well, not even that. It's just being an asshole. Think about all the times in your life that you're coming to a stop sign and fucking someone else and ruining their day because you don't understand how the world works. Well, their day's not going to be ruined because they're going to spend 12 hours at that stop sign coming to a full fucking stop anyway no, to make sure, that fucking, make sure that Officer McGruff in the back seat is giving them an A-OK oh, on their oh full fucking God. stop. I can't believe that this is how Should you, you do, do, you have to turn, do you have to turn the car off too? Like, do you have to blow a breathalyzer no. every time you come to the stop sign? Get out of here. In line. You want to be the first person at the... Like, if you see another car is coming to the stop sign at the same time as you sometimes you stop short of the stop sign what the line you stop a little and then the other guy just the, goes you are you serious yeah like if there's another if you let's say you're across the street from someone else and you got you see someone else is coming to the stop sign and you want to go first you know what you're doing you're fucking stopping asap and sometimes you, they might be a little ahead of you so now you're doing you're like fuck it i'm stopping short you're gonna stop like 10 feet in front of that stop sign just to assert your fucking dominance <laughs> so that you get that first turn that's what fucking happens. I can't believe that you live in Miami. I can't believe it, Dan. I spent a lot of time I, driving in that place, and there is not a single fucking dude. I don't know if it's the Hispanic people, my fellow fucking Cubans, or what. Nobody fucking drives this way in Miami. This, like, this fucking rule of the law adherence to stop signs, I have never seen fucking people in Miami negotiate okay, traffic well, stops like all, that. Florida is a bad place for fucking driving laws. Out here, the fucking passing lane is used literally as a slow lane. Uh, and you no, 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 no. That's some no, bullshit that happens in the entire United States. The passing. No, I'm exactly saying in Miami, those drivers are Florida. fucking crazy. Going up oh, and down yeah, Highway agree. One, people will fucking drive here. on the shoulder. They'll fucking get ahead of you when you're at a stoplight. Somebody will just pull up in front of you when you're stopped there. Like this idea okay. that they negotiate stop signs, all, like a 15 year old driver's ed. To, to be clear, I don't, I don't make any qualms about Florida drivers being bad. It's a mix of fucking like people who just got their license and people ninety years old. Okay, and people from countries disagree. where they don't fucking drive any fucking yes, roads. It's very bad here, but okay. But everywhere else in the world, when you come to a stop sign, that's the fucking thing that you follow. I okay, okay. Leave, okay hold on. Let's back. Let, wait, wait. Let's back. Wait, wait. Hait. Hold on, hold on. Let's back all the way to the original question. With the picture that I have on screen, Dan. Okay. Yep. If, I'll tell you, I'm if, glad wait, 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 wait. This <laughs> motherfucker should have waited for the red car and for the gray car. They should have waited for both those. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I probably agree with that here. She was hardcore pushing it. She should have waited for the red car. However, well, there's no hardcore pushing However, it. however, Maybe. however, all three of these people, if all three, the silver car, this black car, and her car, all three of them came to the intersection at the same time, this silver car has the right of way over her because she's turning left, right? If all you mean all four of these cars no no here. I ignore the fucking red bullshit or we can leave the red bullshit here but let's say that the three cars came here that silver car her car and the car to the right if all three came to this this intersection at the same time the silver car and the black car can go forward at the same time she has to wait the other guy has the right of way because she's turning left um, if they all came at the same time I think it would be that the Tesla would probably have the right of way i don't know if they can take a right there or not. um i guess like the tesla or the silver car depending on what i don't know would would probably go first and then this one going left i think wait no the tesla and the silver car would go at the same, same time, time dan avoiding the fucking game that we all do of the fast stop okay that never happens who the fuck is all approaching a stop sign at exactly the same time <laughs> you, you, all, you all need a tiebreaker okay you need a straight up tiebreaker no and fuck out of here i don't want tiebreaker shit i don't trust no nope, don't give a fuck yeah, if yeah, all three of these cars driver. come here you if all three dan can't even answer the simple question dan can't even answer the simple question of who is the right of way here uh, excuse me, sir. In the in the universe where all three cars arrive at the same second, uh, and uh, there's no left turn this here. Is, oh, wait, wait, wait. There okay, Dan, Dan, Dan. Let's say that they don't all. Let's say that there's no, no, no. Dan, 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 Dan. Let's Who say there's a first? let's say there's a line of cars here. Okay. Let's say there's a line of cars here, and they and all three of them then pull up because that happens at stop signs. Do you agree that happens at stop signs? When that happens, right? Whoever comes to the full stop first. What? <laughs> wait, wait, what? Yes, that's whoever. literally the law. No one gives a fuck about what the fucking law is, okay? It's how people oh, navigate fucking... Law. Wait, wait, hold on. Dan, 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 Dan. I'm curious. Right away from the law. Dan, Dan, Dan. When you see people yeah. at stop... When you see people at stop signs here, do you think that in four-way intersections with stop signs where it's backed up in, in both directions, do you think that people drive in, like, a clockwise manner here? Like, that's no, how... Not always. How, how does it normally work in these intersections? 
I'm glad you asked that question. It's who was there first. Fully no, if there's stopped. a fucking yes, line. That's right. That's right. It's who was yeah. there first. Do you no, guys you not drive? Am I fucking crazy? No, the way that these no intersections lines, work. We obey the law when we drive. We no. Listen to the law. Nobody does this. It's the what happens what, is. You mean nobody follows the law? Do you understand how crazy your statement is? I actually, I actually can't believe this. Neither can I. I'm actually astounded. Wait, so, so, here, so here's what We've happens. We've always known that you're a shit driver. No, 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 no. When for, we can go and stop at any intersection in America, and I will put my fucking balls on the line, okay? No, you don't this want is to do how... that. I'll bet you $100 you're wrong right now. Go okay, to hold on. Okay, okay, hold on. Somebody tries this. I think they don't understand you. Okay, maybe oh, that's no, right. Let's back up then, okay? Let's back up. So if you have a line of cars in, in all directions here, do you understand? <laughs> I understand. There's like a hundred cars. Yep, a hundred cars, right? Yep. So okay. when how, how what is assuming some cars already go through? What is the general pattern in which cars will pass through this intersection? I'm glad you asked that. You know who it was decided by? This is very interesting. <laughs> it was decided by the first four cars that arrived. If everyone followed the law. Wait. So are you telling me that there is a chance that like this car could go, and then this car could go, and then this car could go, and then this car could go? I, I can't, okay, I can't. I don't know. I can't do this. I, am I, am okay. I being trolled? Are you arguing in bad faith? I actually can't no. believe this right now. No, no, I can't believe all the people in my chat saying yes. Oh, hey, how can you understand that like, oh, well, there's a line of cars, different rules now. No, motherfucker, if it's the same for four yeah. cars, it's the same for a hundred. I want to go out. I'm, we might actually go, we might actually go out an IRL stream right now. I can't believe this. So let me tell you what actually happens at these what intersections. What are you going to do? Interview the fucking drivers? Excuse no, me, we can go and watch. We can watch every single intersection in America. And what will happen is, if there's a line of cars, what will happen is, what will begin to happen after the first cars have gone, okay, is these guys will go at the same time. Then these guys will go at the same time. Then the next guys will go at the same time, and then these guys will go at the same time. You will never in your life in America watch cars go around clockwise on a fucking four-way fucking stop. That will never ever happen in your entire life. I can't believe you think this happens in real life. Wait, what are you? Are you arguing? Are you trying to fucking trick me right now? No. It's based on the fucking order the car. It's right. not no, once. Right oh my right. god! I'm dead. Right. I can't. I'm dead. You're I'm actually curious. Right. I want to pull in chat. I just want to see. I'm curious. How many crazy oh, yeah, fights? <laughs> Let me, I really want to know who the dick writers are, so please sign it with your fucking names after you vote. Because I really need to know who will vote for Destiny in despite or or the fucking virgins who have never driven a car. Let's let's put them out there, please. <laughs> I, can't, I actually can't believe this. Wait, what kind of wait? Write the write the arguments on the poll. If you if you do the Destiny. Nah, they... I can't believe it. I can't guys. believe it. I'm actually amazed. I'm I want to find a I'm amazed at how wrong I want to find a stop sign, a four-way stop. Destiny Wait, is right. It evens out for two. I know I'm right. Everybody that's ever commuted anywhere for a job their entire life knows I'm right. I can't believe this. The thing is, like, I've never actually feared for my life instead of being in the passenger seat with you. So I, like I actually like you're actually an insane driver. I can't that actually believe sense. this. Your point is that eventually efficiency takes precedence over order. Yeah, of course. Everybody that's ever been at a four-way stop knows this. That if you're at a fucking four-way hey, you know stop... What? I know how to solve this. Uh, Destiny, where are your fucking sources? Show me some laws. That's dog. why I'm saying this? we need to go out to the field and we need to... No, I... no, not in the field. Just I'm not talking yeah. about the real world, dude. Show me where Just it's written go. down. Dude, what is right? Destiny's argument? Okay, oh, Destiny, sorry. here's my argument. Here's my Destiny argument, okay? In reality, Destiny, right, legally... Dan might be right legally, but nobody in the history of all of stop oh, signs says this. Okay, okay right so legally. here's here's it's what we're saying. Like here's what here's my argument, okay? No, no, I'll do Dan's argument first, okay? Because I think it's really funny. No, no, I'll save the funniest joke oh, yeah. for last. Here's my argument. My argument is that at any four-way stop, at any four-way stop where there is like cars backed up in both directions, by the time you get to the intersection, what's going to happen is the cars opposite from one another, they will drive. And then the next time at the next intersection, they will drive. This happens together that these cars will go, then they go through, and then these cars will go, then these cars will go at the same time, then these cars will go at the same time. Oh, hey, that's interesting. I didn't know that this, uh, this now what, intersection didn't have right or left hand turns. Now, what Dan is saying exist. doesn't matter if they have right or left hand turns. People oh, will still, okay. people will still, but what Dan is so, saying yeah, is that, no, no, shut the fuck up. Let me explain your position, Dan. 
What Dan is saying is that if at this intersection, if let's say this guy arrived, then this guy arrived, then this guy arrived, then this guy arrived, that even after 20 cars have gone through, what's going to happen is this guy will go, Room. this guy's going to sit here and wait, then this guy will go, Room. this guy's going to sit here, then this guy, Room. and it'll follow this clockwise fucking yes, shit. Yes, that's Dan, how it fucking works. Dan's point is that doesn't always happen. Sometimes behavior. My happens. point is that this never happens. This will never, oh, ever, ever happen. No, that's not right. Oh, drivers from other states were fucking awful but i can't i, I can't believe I'm, this. I'm trying to think have i ever shown up to an intersection and i've lived in four states in california massachusetts louisiana florida have i ever pulled up to an intersection and i arrive there's three cars there and i arrive and then uh i'm ready to go and some or, or i'm second in line and someone goes in front of me no that's like wow what a fucking wait, you're second in line and someone goes and wait what yeah if i was I'm trying to phrase this. I can't, right I'm getting trolled I, I right can't now. Believe, no, I'm can't getting believe trolled. You think this is the case? I can't, I'm, I can't believe you're trolling me, Dan. I thought we were cool. Alec Baldwin says he didn't pull the trigger in Rust Killing. All right, I'm back. You ready? No, hold on. What am I waiting on? On. Uh, on a revolver. You have a hammer in the back here that will come down and You're strike a, genius, dude. a um if you see these dogs in your front yard just know upstairs i'm upstairs going hard bing bong nice um i don't know how to draw this oh we should just look for a picture of a revolver when you pull the trigger it um it brings this hammer back and then when you pull it all the way it will send it forward typically that's like a double action is it right? Is it single action versus double action? Um, it's possible that if you put your thumb down all the way on the hammer and just release it though, like if you put your thumb all the way down and then you just let it go, that hammer could snap forward and, um, and strike a bullet. So you don't have to pull a trigger technically to shoot a revolver. You could just pull the hammer back and let go and it'll fire the bullet. Um, I don't know why you would ever do that. But this is weird. Who joined? Hello. What's up? It's your resident gun expert. Okay. The guy who fell in the pool. And resident revolver expert as well. Okay. Yeah. Revolvers can be double action. Like, you don't yeah, so a revolver can be a double action or a single action. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it can both cock and fire the hammer at the same time. Sometimes to pull the trigger will only release the hammer. Yes. Thank you yeah. for coming in with the absolutely needless qualification to its chat. Anything else? Thanks, pool guy. Did you just lose your league game? Is that why I'm getting bullied? No, right no but it, it was just, it's one of those things where it's like, well, technically, actually, you can win. Yes, there are single I, action I polls and I, there are double I don't action polls. Okay? First off, sh fuck you. Don't, don't you fucking speak to me like that. You were a fucking idiot. You came in here saying, well, I mean, you could pull it back with your finger and let go and maybe it'll hit the thing. Fuck you. The, it could have got it and already been cocked. You didn't have to do anything with his fucking thumb and it could have been loose and fucking gone off just like that. Okay? So fuck you. It could have been Loser. loose. Wait, you think the hammer just yeah, randomly? Know. These are fucking. These are fucking like 1800s guns. So you yes. think it's a revolver from the 1800s? Yes, it's a movie about the 1800s. Yes, I think it's a revolver from the 1800s. Why wouldn't well, you like, just get an, a newer gun and do prop design guns. and just fucking dust it up a little bit? Because that's not what they do, idiot. Oh, okay. okay. They use period weapons. Show me, show me, show me that. Show me where they got like, a gun from the money, 1800s. Put some money on it, bitch. I'm not you're putting money on it. Bigot. You're the one. No, you're making the claim. Go ahead, show us, Dan. Show us, Dan. No money, no money. Show us, Dan. No, 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 no. I didn't know pictures confident. were released. Do they know the gun? Somebody link. I didn't know where Dan got his information from. I'll put money on it. Do you want to put money on it? Because I thought I remember my favorite streamer saying, if someone won't put money on it, tell them to sit down, shut the fuck up, and eat a dick. So perhaps that's what you can do. I don't bet on things where I don't know about them. Okay? Yeah, so maybe you should shut the fuck up, because I do know. Because I'm a god. Uh, he's Dan's a Sigma male. What, oh are the, what are the chances that the hammer randomly fucking drops on a revolver? Aren't revolvers known for being pretty fucking reliable? Like, that's one of the only reasons why... There is no good reason to get a revolver. It's one of the only reasons why people like revolvers is because they're like, I thought they were like ruthlessly reliable weapons. What the they're fuck shit ass fucking revolver? Time, well, they're but, reliable because every time you pull the trigger, 
it's going to rotate the cylinder, and if it doesn't strike, if you got a light strike, you can just pull it again. It's not like a fucking pistol where you might have to go over there and cut rack the slide again, and maybe you get a stove pipe and you can't rack the slide and you got to do this fucking whole maneuver. You pull the trigger, it's going to go again. Usually, there is issues where sometimes the casing can come out a little bit and jam the cylinder. We don't talk about that. That said, if this is an older weapon, an yeah. older revolver, uh, it's totally possible that it was already cocked back all the way in that the action of the person holding it and shaking it around. I don't know what type of revolver it is. If it's like an 1850 shit, it could totally be fucked and have the fucking hammer get released out of inertia or something. Like fucking uh, regular pistols, sometimes you drop them on the ground and they fire. Like This is a uh, yeah. isosceles, guys. This is a uh, weaver, okay? And this is the Dan stance. He's firing his revolver. Just, you just wiggle it around a little bit. <laughs> you guys, one, hey, guy. Steve, you know, some good content. You want to go back and watch the uh, mask debate that we did a year ago? You're oh, really Dan, you're, that one too. Are you really you reaching back two years ago, Dan? Are you Three I'm years just ago? Saying, I'm just saying. Four years ago? Really Dan, fucking Dan's confident. that guy hanging around his friends like, yeah, you think you're good at video games? Remember that one map we played in Modern Warfare? <laughs> okay, I crushed you Fuck guys. you, dude. You're such... You know what? And the thing is, I don't like coming in here and you're so fucking aggressive with me on day one. Like, yeah, technically, it's not what I was doing. I was just shedding a little bit of light because I'm a revolver guy, okay? I like revolvers. Uh -huh. That's it. I don't even... And Steve played falling. a lot of Metal Gear Solid. He knows a lot about revolvers, okay? <laughs> that was, That's like not a real whatever. Oh, uh, excuse me. The firearm was a F. Lee Pieta Long Colt 45 revolver. That sounds like something built in the 1800s. Okay, there's two things. Me. One, you didn't know that until you read it just now. And two, yeah, we still don't know the year of manufacture. Boom. 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 Then you just got destroyed. No, no. Like you didn't you know masturbate. Fuck you. This dishonest tactic is not going to work on me. I was 100% right. You, you were a hundred percent wrong. First off, now you want to claim about how I got there sound. and like, oh, well, you lucked into it. You were morally lucky on your answer. No, I use common sense. It can't be defeated. You figure out what you're doing with your car. You doing roof racks or what? <laughs> you figure out what you. What'd you say? You like, missed. You figure out wait, wait. What, what did you say, Dan? Dan, Dan. What did you say, Dan? All right. Where's that Mr. Moot and fucking snot coming out of his fucking nose? Uh, wow. GIF. You're getting a little frisky over there, Moot. Let's repost this one a few fucking times. I know you hate it. No? No? Then shut the fuck up, Mooten. I hate you. I was talking mad shit about your Dune take. Wait, did you like the movie Dune? No shot. I, I love the movie Dune, and he, I don't care. I'm trolling. tired of He's saying trolling. that I. He's I don't. Guys. I don't care. I don't care. Yes, I like it. I think it's a good movie. I realized, I woke up and I realized you you do things that are wrong. You are not some almighty being that is right about everything. Your food takes are that of a four-year-old. Your movie takes are that of a six-year-old. He's trolling, guys. Just okay. stay in your lane. Don't Leave worry. certain things to me. You handle politics and philosophy and abusing women. <laughs> and I'll handle the food takes in the movies, all right? Mm -hmm. Sorry, that's too far. Dan, did you see everything, everywhere, all at once? Yes, I did. I thought it was a very good movie. And I thought my, I mean, I felt the rock scenes, the little rocks on the cliff. How good were those scenes? And also, crazily, that that was actually like, you cared. Normally, like when you see shit like that, it's like some fucking shitty art movie at a museum. And you're like, okay, can I, can I go? And your wife is like, no. We're gonna watch this. And I was like, babe, I didn't come here to watch a fucking movie at a museum. I can watch this shit on YouTube and you don't care and it's not good. And it's some fucking artist who's so full of himself and so pretentious that he made a movie with rocks and everyone thinks it's amazing, but it's really not. It wasn't that, this was actually pretty good. That wait, little, wait, those rock was? segments. No, everything everywhere all at once yeah. on the yeah, the segment with the, with the rocks. Yeah. Hey, Dune was a great movie. I'm here to back up Dan. Gross. Oh, fantastic Devin. source material, great world building. World awesome building? Awesome. Tell great me about sound. the world. Tell me about the world building. Go ahead, tell me. And by the way, real quick, Devin, this is yeah. a hot zone. You should. You are a PG 
no, 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 possibly no, no, general no, no, audience. No, 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 no. I want to hear. Just be careful. I want you guys to tell me about this. Tell me about the great world building. That's. I want to hear about that. Go ahead. What What do you want to hear about? Just okay. tell me about it. So, tell me about the great world building. Multiple. So first of all, the world was represented really well, which is a basic like basically Dune is about political intrigue, right? There's big noble houses that are fighting against each other, scheming against each other. There's a bunch of stuff going on in the background. They did the they they did the entire Bene Gesserit very well, and and Bene their Gesserit? political yeah the sisterhood. I don't even remember them. That's how insignificant it was. How are, you, how are you criticizing a movie you don't remember? Is that, oh, is he sister, does that a lot. Wait, the sisterhood was that the people that like put the guy's hand in the box and then they like trained the boy to be like a fighter or whatever? Oh, he yeah, was describing. One of them. Yes. Oh, wait, are you describing of, the book? I'm describing what? the movie. Oh, okay. The movie. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. I'm describing the movie. The world building was really fantastic because the visuals and the audio. I, I watched that in an IMAX and it was oh, beautiful. The like, music, the music, yeah. Devin, and the fucking, yes. some of the sound effects, like when the fucking, uh, the big, the Baron bro turned on his fucking spine. Oh, oh man, that is the okay, best okay, sound effects. Okay, after stream today, guys, we're going to stream this fucking dog shit movie, Dune, and I'm going to ruin it for all of you, okay? So whoever's Zach, whoever does the Twitch streams, we're streaming Dune after, and we're going to just tear into it. God, what a dog shit movie. It actually is upsetting me that you're, I mean, that I that you're a defending. single part of it and is calling it dog shit unironically. I don't remember, remember it because the, there is no world building, okay? It's just a bunch of... You literally don't even remember that there's a guy in a box with a, who's the, the, the dude yeah, in the box? Yeah, because it was all, <laughs> because it was soulless shit that moved from scene to scene with characters that had no development you didn't give a fuck about with like you say political intrigue like what were the names of like some of the family i don't even remember any of the families there you not speed on your phone the entire time you're watching it probably not on my phone at all why would i go to the theater why would i go to the theater and be on my phone it was a dog shit boring fuck movie did you go to do you see it in a theater yeah of course i saw it in imax because then people like sand and i was like okay Dude, that scene with the Sardaukar, where they're all chanting and like oh the blood coming out. Yeah. Oh my oh, god! So good. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Oh, oh that my one. God. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. The Gregorian chants, man. It was. It was. Oh. Awesome. It's probably the best take on Dune ever made. You know, <laughs> dreams are oh dreams okay. are messages from the deep. Steve. Okay. Just I just can't. I can't wait after stream. Who's the Who's the movie streamer guy? We're watching this after stream, guys. Okay. Did you like the uh, the first one with um. What, what's what's your take on Dune then? Like, is the first one with who was that dude Sting? <laughs> who was oh, that? Wait, we're not. We don't. We don't talk about that Dune. Yeah. <laughs> I had to back. I, I heard Dan was up against the wall, dude. I had to come. He's in not here. up against the wall. My chat all have okay. horrible movie takes like Dan, so they all agreed with him. Really. We're in the majority, okay? He's like, well, oh. technically, if you go and see the art house Vogue version of it, you'll see that. Really, they fell off, and Christopher Nolan was really thinking when he was doing the sound design. You know, it just doesn't fucking matter. You know, he just such a fucking. Try I just, hard. I, I can't wait so afterwards. This is what all the chat's gonna be like, guys. Afterwards, we're gonna watch this, okay? It's gonna be like there are, bunch, there are a bunch of psycho fans that will be suck like, your fucking dick. It's gonna be like the thing where you're showing your friend the meme, and then you keep looking at him and back in the mirror, like, oh god, this isn't anywhere near as funny or as good as I remember it being. And then everybody's gonna be like, well, it's different, guys, because we're watching it on a stream and not an IMAX. That's why it's so dog shit. Now that's what's gonna happen, guys. So be ready for it, okay? Be what's gonna it. happen is you're gonna galvanize your community to to into a yeah you are a dream to make the, make them believe that this movie is dog shit and when reality is quite good. Okay. Well, yeah. We'll see. It's happens. a bunch of fucking GGG <laughs> dick suckers that will be like, oh, Master Senpai said this movie wasn't good. Oh, I guess it's not so good. I didn't understand at first, but now I do. Fucking disgusting. Yeah, for sure. Because like if this... my community does anything, you know, it's copy my media takes for sure, Dan. Good one. Ninety percent. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes audience score. Okay. Audience score? SD. What's the critic score? Because that's what I am. I'm a movie critic. <laughs> Can't be that guy. The critic score on the critic score on Rotten Tomatoes has fallen off so much. It's paid, bro. It's big media now. It's oh all yeah, and dude crazy. wasn't made by big media. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, big big media is controlling the tomato meter now, bro. The critics. Uh -huh. I'm telling you, man. It's it's uh it's gassed out. It's all it's all uh it's all a big lie now, man. Taking over. Chemtrails. Well, well, well. An interesting well, few days that you have had for yourself. Indeed. Good times. Why? It's always, always chaos with you. Never a chill moment lately. Ever. That's good. Why? It's just fun. What can I say? The real question is who are the next? Because every single time some crazy shit happens, I'm always like, this is it. It can't get, it can't get wilder than Ari and Nina. Okay. It can't get wilder no, than it, Bob it can, Seven. And it, and it, it can't it get wilder than, <laughs> but it's, here we go. 
Yeah. Um, man, I don't know. You're <laughs> you're wilding out, as they say in the business. You're just living a very crazy life. However, I will say that I picked up on a tactic. I think that you have. Uh, uh, what's that? All right. Hey. So when you've done something bad, when you've been a bad boy, and you should be in the corner, you have an out. And I only realized it's an out because it's a very clever out that you came up with. But now I know what it is. You know what it is? What's that? When So when you've done something bad and it's inexcusable, you say, you know what? I'm glad I did it. I like drama. It was good. I did it. And I was realizing, like, you could say that, like, Destiny, why did you, why did you go kill a bunch of four-year-olds? And you're like, I like it. I love it. People are talking about me. It's not a good excuse. Not good. Okay? There you go. I, it just it hit me the other day because it made sense at the time, but I was like, "Wait a second, that's a very sneaky Steve strategy that you came up with there." Wow! And I expect nothing more. From, Do you from think the it best. might also just be the case that maybe the bad things that people freak the fuck out over are just not actually really that bad? People are overreacting like motherfuckers. Maybe, possibly. Um, sometimes, sure. Yeah, sometimes. 